pretty uh, pretty common for this kind of, of uh, you know relative motion for this kind of concept. Uh, this is a, a boat and water problem. I'll tell you right now that uh, you will get sick of boats and airplanes during this unit. Sorry, no other way to to you know to put it. So uh, let's just draw a little picture here. Here is the river. And it's about yay wide. Sure, why not? Um, here is the you know here is the boat. Let's say okay. And so Mr. Forbes wants to get from this spot here. Uh, actually, sorry. Let me let me just make that S for his starting spot on the shore, and he wants to finish here. Okay. So he wants to basically just go straight up vertically. Okay. The boat I'm going to call B, just for the sake of having a letter. And meanwhile, there's a current um, that's going 2.4 meters per second. The uniform current, that way, 2.40 meters per second, going that way. So if he points his boat straight across, if he points his boat straight up, then what's going to happen is he's going to be, the boat's going to be moving straight up across the water, but then the water is going to be flowing downstream, so the boat is going to end up going like this, right? So what he has to do is he has to turn the boat, he has to aim the boat up at some direction like that, okay? And if he aims the boat this way, then part of the boat's action on the water, part of the boat's motion relative to the water, will cancel out the water's motion, and the rest of the boat's motion will be this direction, and it'll get him across the far side. Uh, the boat has to partially fight the water. So the question then is what angle, and I'm going to go ahead and label that angle as theta, what angle theta does he have to point the boat to make this work? So this is a problem, this is a relative motion problem, but now um, we've got, uh, instead of needing to worry about relative positions, we're worrying about relative velocities. So let me uh, start by saying what what's the objective here? The, the objective here is for the boat to have a motion relative to the shore. So this is the shore here, and this is the shore, okay? And the water is the stuff in the middle. We're looking from the top down, okay? So uh, if that helps. So we want the boat's motion relative to the shore to just be straight up. We want the velocity of the boat relative to the shore to be straight up. What we know is that the, the water has a velocity relative to the shore. It's going downstream. And we know the maximum speed the boat can go, the motorboat has a maximum speed of this relative to the water. So that gives us our three different objects we're going to be looking at here. So I'm just going to write them out here and underline the first letters to make it clear. Shore, which is S, the water, okay, and the boat. Okay. Nothing magical about these three letters, just make sure you have three different letters for the three things you're worried about in your problem. So, um, what we have to do then is we have the uh, velocity of the water with respect to the shore, right? We have velocity of the water with, the, or the, we know that the speed of the water with respect to the shore, let me say that first, is 2.40 meters per second. And we know that the speed of the boat relative to the water is 5.00 meters per second. Okay, so now uh, we've got to figure out how to solve this problem. So what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to draw in coordinate axes. Okay, so just, you know, for the sake of convenience, we're going with standard x and y. So now I can express uh, this as a vector. I want the velocity of the, well, I don't want this, this is what it is the velocity of the water with respect to the shore. Here is the water is flowing this way. So the water is flowing, it's flowing at 2.40 meters per second, and it's going in the negative x direction. It's going left, so it's going to be negative 2.40 i hat meters per second. Okay, so we've got that one now. We've got, uh, we don't know the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, we do know that it has some, uh, you know, it's got this magnitude. And we we don't, so we don't know that. We do know that we want the uh, velocity of the boat with respect to the shore has to be, we want that to be straight up, right? We want the boat to be moving 
from this point to this point, which means the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore, we want to be like that, boat with respect to shore. We don't know the magnitude of this, but we do know the angle, okay? So, so the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore is, we know we want it to be straight up, right? So it's going to have some magnitude in the j-hat direction. I'm going to write this by saying VBS, the scalar. So this is the magnitude of this vector, and it goes in the j-hat direction. So if you see how that works, um, we, we, this is how you express a vector going in the j direction of unknown magnitude. You say, well, whatever its magnitude is, that's the component going in the positive j hat direction, okay? So this guy, we know direction, but not magnitude, okay? That's this guy. Here, for this guy, we know, whoops, we, don't, we know direction and magnitude. So that's why this first guy is fully specified. Okay, now um, we know that's going on. We know uh, the velocity of the boat with respect to the water is going to be pointing in whatever direction the boat is going. Okay, so the boat is going to be going at an angle theta away from, or it's going to be pointed at an angle theta away from positive y, and it's going to be, um, its velocity with respect to the water will be angled that way. So now the question is, we take the, uh, and you can even like draw in little, sketch in little directions for these things. So this is the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore. Velocity of the water with respect to the shore is that way. Okay. And then the velocity of the boat with respect to the water is going to go at an angle like this. Um, there's theta. And so what you're going to have is velocity of the boat with respect to the water is going to equal, um, it's going to have a magnitude of 5.00 meters per second. Okay, 5.00 meters per second. And that is going to get split up into x and y components. Okay. So let me draw this a little bigger. Here is the velocity of the boat with respect to the water. It's going to get split up. This is going to be the y component of it. This is going to be the x component. And this here is also the x component. So this and this are the same. And we have this here. This is a right angle here. Theta is, is this angle down here, which means that the x component is going to have the sign on it. So the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, this is the magnitude, and then it's going to uh, be pointing in the positive i hat direction with the magnitude uh, or the the component. Tell you what, let me uh, let me see if I can do an erase here. Yes, I can. Okay. So um, actually, and I'm going to leave the meters per second out and just put that at the end. So it's going to be 5.00. Whoops. Crap. Oh. Crud. Let me see if I can uh, zoom. What the hell am I doing now? Okay, well, let's see if I can. Now I don't know. I can't make this. Ah! Okay, I can make it bigger. Okay. Sorry, that was a little scary. Oh, no, I'm tilting it. Okay, this is all neat functionality that I wish did not exist right now. Okay. Well, okay, guess what? This is the best we're going to do. Close enough, right? Okay, so let me uh, get rid of this thing here and hope that I never jerk this around again. So, okay, so horizontally, um, this bit here, since we know this is 5.00 meters per second, so that's a 5, trust me, this is going to be 5 times sine theta. Okay, so 5.00 sine theta times i hat. And then going up, it's going to be plus 5.00 cosine theta j hat. Um, again, the really important thing here is that uh, the way I like to remember this is that cosine goes on whichever axis the angle is getting measured from. 
Now, when you have, because people ask me all the time, why are you doing cosine on the vertical and not on the horizontal? In this case, because the angle is being measured from the vertical. Okay. So imagine if theta was zero, then this angle, this uh, angle would have collapsed to nothing, and the vector would be pointing straight up. The cosine of zero is one. So when cosine of cosine of theta is zero, you want everything to be along the axis that it would be on. So that's why this, in this case, it's five sine theta in the i hat direction, five cosine theta in the j hat direction, and this is of course meters per second. So now, um, and here, let me just write in we know the magnitude, but not the direction. Okay, so that's our little note for this guy. So now that we um, now that we have this this all uh, written out, written up this way, we can uh, figure out how to add these guys up and make a valid addition statement. And so now the way this works is we do our little trick where we go v, and then we say here's a little blank and here's a little blank, plus v blank blank equals v blank blank. And if you remember the rule from the last video, this blank, if you haven't watched the last video, I'd encourage you to go look at it. These two, the, the first one on this guy and the last one on this guy have to be the same. And that means we've only got one option. Um, it's going to turn out that W is our only option there. So you're going to go V boat with respect to the water, okay, plus V of water with respect to shore, has to equal V of boat with respect to shore. And another trick, I didn't mention this in the last video, is you can look at look at it and when you've got the right setup, the uh, the one that matches will sort of cancel itself out. And you'll see that VBW plus VWS equals VBS. So it's like these two W's annihilated each other, and the B in the front and the S in the back then sort of contracted together. Okay. And so now that this is now that we know this is true, we can write this and make uh, you know we can plug in things and make know that this is a valid equation. So VBW is this. Um, I'm just going to write five sine theta i hat. Uh, meters plus five cosine theta j hat meters. Okay, that's our VBW. VWS is minus two point four i hat. Oh crap! Sorry, meters per second. Meters per second. My mistake. Two point four i hat meters per second. Okay. Uh, equals VBS. And actually, let me just uh, grab this little thing here and move that over a bit so I have more space. So my apologies. Uh, please, please fasten your seat. Okay, just stop. Okay. Um, so now, minus 2.4 i-hat meters per second. Okay, stop it. Come on. I'm done with that. All right. Equals. Get out. All right. Um, VBS was our last thing there, and that's this. So equals VBS times J hat. Okay, so this looks a little messy. Um, but what you will see now is that we've got an equation with I hat and J hat components on the left and J hat components on the right. To make a vector equation work, remember that a vector equation is two scalar equations together, one for the I hat components and one for the J hat components. And if you're working in 3D, one for the k hat components. And if you ever get to the point in math where you're dealing with 10 dimensional vectors, you'll know by then that a vector equation for that is 10 scalar equations. But of course, you don't care about that now. So, um, what I'm going to do is break this into an x component, okay, which is, of course, all the terms that have an i hat on them. And so on the left, we have 5 sine theta. And since we'll have i hats on this side and i hats on the other side, you can leave those alone, right? 5 sine theta. Um, and the meters per second are going to cancel out. Okay, so I suppose I could uh, go five sine theta meters per second equals, or sorry, not equals. Oh, come on, minus two point four meters per second. Okay, so that's the other i hat term there, and there's no i hat term on the right hand side, so that's all got to equal zero. Okay, and then for y, we can say five cosine theta meters per second, because that's our j hat term here, is going to equal VBS. So right now, you've already found that, uh, let's see, VBS is going to be this. That's not going to help us terribly. Uh, what really helps is 
uh, this because now